Englewood Technical Prep Academy High School or sometimes referred to as simply Englewood High School, was a public four-year high school located in the Englewood neighborhood on the south side of Chicago, United States. It was a part of the Chicago public school system. The school graduated its last class of 151 students in June 2008. Englewood was closed as an action in the CPS Renaissance 2010 program. Topic: Athletics. Englewood competed in the Chicago Public League Corporal and was a member of the Illinois High School Association IHSA. Their team name were the Eagles. The boys' track team were state champions four times 1895, 1897, 1901, 1905, and were public league champions in 1976. The boys' cross-country team were public league champions 1933, 1934-1936-37, 1950-51, 1953-54, 1955-56, 1957-and 1968. The boys' football team were public league champions six times 1914-16, 1918-20. The boys' basketball team were public league champions two times 1917–18, 1926–27 and regional champions in 2007–08. Art Foles and the 1925 Chicago Cardinals Prior to the 1933 season, the National Football League team with the best record in the standings at the end of the season, was named the season's NFL champions. In 1925, with the Chicago Cardinals trailing the Pottsville Maroons a half-game lead in the standings, two extra games were scheduled by the Cardinals against the inferior Milwaukee Badgers and Hammond Pros, both of which were NFL members at the time, to close the standings gap. Art Foles, an Englewood High School graduate and a substitute quarterback for the Cardinals, convinced four players from Englewood High School to join the Milwaukee Badgers for the game under assumed names, thereby ensuring that the Cardinals' opponent was not a pro-caliber club. The Cardinals later defeated Milwaukee 59-0. NFL president Joseph Carr later learned that high school players had been used and told reporters the 59-0 Cardinals win would be stricken from the record. However, the league had never got around to removing it. The game is still a part of the NFL records. The Cardinals owner, Chris O'Brien, was also fined $1,000 by Carr for allowing his team play a game against high schoolers, even though he claimed that he was unaware of the player's status. Badgers owner Ambrose McGurk was ordered to sell his Milwaukee franchise within 90 days. Art Foles was then barred from football for life, however prior to the 1926 season, Foles's lifetime ban was lifted, however he chose not to return to pro football. The $1,000 fine against O'Brien was rescinded. McGurk though had already sold his Badgers franchise to Johnny Bryan, a fullback with the Chicago Bears. The Englewood players were also forgiven, and two of them, William Thompson and Charles Richardson, earned high school all-star recognition at the end of the season. Foles reportedly told the high schoolers that the game was a practice game and would in no part affect their amateur status. Topic: <laughs> School song Our Englewood. All voices raise in songs of praise for Englewood. Our flags unfold and banners hold for Englewood. 
for many friends throughout the land with joyful hearts all willing stand to shout her praise for dear old Englewood, O oh Englewood, our Englewood. How many times before you've taught us how to faithful be you're turned defeat into victory O oh Englewood, our Englewood. We'll stand by you today. Hurrah for the purple and white. Hurrah for the purple and white, then here's a cheer for schoolmates, dear hurrah, hurrah. And here's a hand for teachers, grand hurrah, hurrah. Our loyalty we pledge to thee. We'll work for what we hope to be. All honor then to dear old Englewood, oh, tell me of a high school. Where I should like to go. Where jolly pupils gather. And seek life's work to know. Oh, tell me is there sunshine. In class and hall and heart. For I should like to join that school. And try to do my part. Topic. Violence and school rivalries In 2002, 18-year-old Englewood senior Maurice Davis was shot to death at a bus stop located in front of the school. He was the seventh student killed in or near a public school in Chicago. Before closing, this school was a participant in one of the oldest rivalries in the United States against Hyde Park Career Academy. Topic. Closing and building uses The school board decided in 2005 that, due to its poor performance, Englewood would be phased out over a three-year period to allow the freshmen who had entered to be the final class to graduate. Many reasons were behind the closing of this school. It was one of the worst performing public schools in the U.S. for the end of 2008. There are two new schools currently using the same building, Urban Prep Academy, a public charter high school for young men opened in 2006, and Team Englewood, a public co-ed charter school that opened in 2007. Team Englewood still uses the Englewood High School team name, the Eagles. Topic. Notable alumni Charlie Bachman (1892–1985), player and coach in College Football Hall of Fame. The Barrett Sisters, legendary gospel trio. Gwendolyn Brooks (1917–2000), winner of 1950 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry, the first African American to do so, poet laureate of Illinois. Oscar Brown Jr. (1926–2005), singer, songwriter, playwright, poet, and civil rights activist. Buck Brown (1936–2007), Playboy magazine cartoonist. George Robert Carruthers (born 1939), physicist, space scientist. Gene Chandler (born 1937), singer, best known for his 1962 number one song, "Duke of Earl." Mary D. Born 1936, WGN anchor, reporter, television personality, victim's rights advocate and philanthropist. Sam Greenlee 1930 African-American writer, best known for his 1969 novel The Spook Who Sat by the Door. Lorraine Hansberry, 1930 to 1965, author of 1959 play A Raisin in the Sun, first African American female playwright to have work produced on Broadway. Harold L. Ix, 1874 to 1952, U.S. Secretary of the Interior under Presidents Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Harry Truman. 
Robert Henry Lawrence Jr. 1935 to 1967, Air Force pilot and first African American astronaut. Robert W. Bob or Tiny Maxwell 1883 to 1922, football player, coach and official, sports editor, namesake of the Maxwell Football Club and the Maxwell Trophy. Milton Mayer, 1908 to 1986, journalist, educator, and author of the influential book *They Thought They Were Free: The Germans, 1933 to 45, which let ordinary German citizens tell their stories of how the Nazi Party rose to power. Walter McCornick 1875 to 1939 football player at Dartmouth and football coach at Dartmouth and Northwestern Archibald Motley Jr 1891 to 1981 jazz age artist Willard Motley 1909 to 1965 author Carl Nix, born 1958, former NBA player, star player at Indiana State University, selected as member of Centennial Team, Missouri Valley Conference. Geraldine Page, 1924 to 1987, Academy Award-winning actress for The Trip to Bountiful, Emmy winner and four-time Tony Award nominee, inducted in American Theatre Hall of Fame. Joe Williams, 1918 to 1999, Grammy Award-winning jazz singer who sang with Count Basie's orchestra.